For years, I struggled to stay on top of my daily responsibilities and actually finish the things I needed to do. It always just felt like I was scrambling to meet deadlines. So in this video, I wanna go over my organizational system and how I manage the chaos that's happening up here. And I'll also show you how you can implement this in your own life. It's a simple framework I call the three C's and it's loosely based off of David Allen's GTD. I use Notion as my app of choice to implement the system since all of my other workflows are there, but feel free to pick whichever one suits you. So the first C stands for collect. That means grabbing every idea, thought, or task that comes to mind the moment it happens. Have you ever tried focusing on something and you find your mind is just wandering all over the place? That's because our mind is just an endless thought generating machine and we don't even have control over what those thoughts are or when they're gonna happen. When I try to ignore something, like waiting for a reply to a text message, I can't stop thinking about my phone and minions and ramen. But as I started to pay attention to my thoughts, I began seeing patterns. I noticed that the majority of my intrusive thoughts were unclosed loops. You know, and I think back to college days when I was procrastination king, I had this problem where I wasn't ever fully present in the activity that I was doing. Like I remember going to parties and hanging out with friends and stuff, and every 15 minutes or so, I would get these intrusive reminders like, hey, you have an essay due on Friday, or hey, don't forget, you have homework to finish by Monday. And then I'd stress and complain about it with my friends for a few minutes. It's like, ha ha ha, you know, I'm so screwed. But then I would tell myself, I'll just worry about it later. 15 minutes later, that same thought would come back. Like, hey, don't forget about Friday. Don't forget that homework on Monday. And this kept happening. I just couldn't fully be there because I was always on high alert. As David Allen says, the mind is for having ideas, not for holding them. It took me a long time to understand. That's just how our mind works. The ideas our mind loves to ruminate on the most are open loops. So the goal of the collect phase is to identify all those open thought loops and write them down so we don't forget them. That way our mind isn't constantly trying to remind us to think about that thought. They're stored in an inbox. An inbox is just basically a place to gather ideas so we don't continue worrying about them and losing focus every few minutes and we can just deal with them later. The next C is clarify. We now have to organize and prioritize our thoughts so we can determine what is important and what is not important. Otherwise our inbox piles up and reaches critical mass. It would be like moving all of your files onto your desktop. Something I've found helpful in keeping my inbox tidy is implementing cat time. Cats leisure most of the day, so this time it's meant to rejuvenate and catch up. So basically every day from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., I block out my calendar for cat time to filter my inbox, prioritize tasks, and process all of those open loops I collect. I got the idea of cat time from my internal medicine rotation. We can juggle about six to seven items in our working memory at one time. And in the hospital, we were always constantly bombarded with phone calls calls and pages, questions, concerns, <laughs> hunger, you name it. Trying to multitask on 50 different things at once is very inefficient. Things would slip through the cracks for sure, which gets dangerous for patients. My attending understood this and gave us staggered blocks of time after morning rounds so we can catch up. Scheduling cat time makes it so the task inbox never reaches critical mass and we don't have a hundred things living rent free in our brain and destroying our ability to focus. In getting things done, David Allen proposes a fairly complex system for sorting an inbox. I think it's a bit convoluted, so I created a simplified version. So first, determine is this thought actionable or not? If yes, it's a task. If not, it's an idea. If it's a task, does it take less than five minutes to do? If yes, just do it and cross it off the list. If not, then decide its priority or how important it is and also its energy. Is this going to require a lot of effort or is it like a mindless task? Ideas can also be clarified if they pertain to certain projects you're working on. For example, I often get random ideas throughout the day for YouTube videos or like lyrics for songs that I'm writing. So I'll just collect those in my inbox and I can filter them later into different categories in Notion. Clarification usually doesn't take me more than five minutes since I've gotten to the habit of doing it consistently. And the last C is calendar. Decide on a time to complete the task so they no longer interfere with your work. By assigning a specific time for the task, we offload it from our mind and we close that loop. We stop worrying about if we're gonna forget the task and we stop worrying about when we're gonna get around to doing the task because it's physically in our calendar. One of the biggest reasons why we procrastinate is because we don't have a clear plan of action. Lack of clarity means confusion and indecision. And if you've ever had trouble deciding 
depending on like where to go to dinner or what movie to watch or something, you know how overwhelming and frustrating that feeling of indecision is. So it's a lot easier to take action, even if that task sucks, you know, where it's boring, when it's predetermined and planned out in our calendar. You know, if I knew I had to be at work at eight o'clock in the morning, even though I'm not a morning person, because that's predetermined and pre-scheduled, I'm gonna make it there on time. So calendar really allows us to fully focus and be present, enjoying what we're doing, because we don't have indecision about whether or not we need to be doing something. So let's see how a Torah at Cajun Koi Academy implements the triple C framework all while using his favorite productivity app, Notion. Techno has a busy day ahead of him. He has an essay and presentation to prepare for tomorrow. So he's been locked in his favorite spot all morning, but he's aware that he needs to collect unclosed loops. So he proactively opens up his daily scratch pad on his phone and has this right beside him as he works. Not only is this a quick way to collect thoughts, it also means he won't get distracted by social media and games since his phone's being occupied. While working, Techno suddenly remembers he needs to email paperwork to his boss. He pauses what he's doing, quickly picks up his phone, and collects that idea into the inbox. As the morning continues, several other intrusive thoughts barge into his mind. Write a YouTube script about sleep, research camera lenses for photography, pay rent by tomorrow. He collects all of these unclosed loops as they come and preserves his focus for work. As lunch rolls around, Techno begins to feel hangry. So he goes to the kitchen and starts heating up leftovers from yesterday. As he impatiently waits for his food, he realizes now is a great time to clarify my inbox. So he whips out his phone and opens up his inbox, which is conveniently just another synced page in Notion where all the inbox ideas are collected. Now he begins to clarify his Notion database by priority and by energy. Email paperwork to boss is very high priority and low energy because he needs to get paid. He schedules that for later this evening. Write YouTube script is lower priority, but that's a very high energy task. It requires a lot of concentration and focus to write a banger script. So he schedules that for tomorrow morning when his focus is highest. Researching camera lenses is also low priority, but it's also low energy. He'll do that sometime tomorrow, maybe after lunch during his food coma. And finally, pay rent. This is a very high priority task, but it will also take less than five minutes to do. So he'll just do it right now on the spot. And would you look at that? His entire inbox was clarified and put into the calendar in less than five minutes. And now he can reward his efforts with a hot, delicious meal. And for the rest of the day, he won't have to worry about those same recurring thoughts invading his productivity because he's penciled them into his calendar and he knows when he'll take care of them. Now, I'm a big fan of digital minimalism. I prefer to identify the gaps in my productivity first and then use as few apps and tools as possible in my workflow. And that's why I've been hard at work building a single complete workstation for managing my entire life all inside Notion. It includes this CCC task management system, a knowledge management system, a habit tracker, and a complete study system along with a guide on how to put it all together. And with dozens of video tutorials and a full community, it's the most insane workhorse I've ever built. I'll drop a link to sign up for it if you're interested in the description. In any case, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next time.